Welcome to this session with our birthday girl Natalia. It's a homie, me. Um, I'm, <laughs> I'm Paula, I'm just here to assist her. And I'm going to tell you, just keep your questions for yourself. You can raise your hand at the end. I will come up to you, hand you the microphone, so the people online will also be able to hear you. And then you can ask your question. And to the people online, just uh, write your questions in the chat. And I will read them out loud at the end. And also, if you're interested to stay in contact with Natalia or have any other questions, you can just come up to her or like contact her online. And now, enjoy the presentation. Yes. Is it done? It's <laughs> I'm trying. If it, it works and it's not, I don't know how to change it. <laughs> okay, probably it will. Uh, yeah. So, hello, I am Natalia. And today I probably will talk to you about something you don't uh, think about, I suppose. Not many people think about uh, healthy singing, uh, but there are people like this, and most of them are not engineers. They are singers, of course. Uh, I used to be an opera singer when I was little. Now I'm an engineer, so, uh, so totally I connect both those things. Uh, and I want to tell you how we engineers can help singers to, to sing uh, better and how to understand the data, like audio data. Mm, because audio is something that most of us don't do. Uh, we do uh, language, we do uh, images, uh, most of us don't do audio. And probably, I don't know, maybe what any one of you do singing audio? No, probably not. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, so, so uh, as I thought, probably none of you thought about, about singing before. Uh, now I hope you you will. Uh, yeah. So uh, my presentation is entitled "Untapped Potential of Audio ML." Uh, blah blah blah. Exploring vocal health analysis. Yeah. The original title was "Why Everybody Loves Adele Except Her Vocal Cords," and uh, we changed the title because it was not that professional. But still, the, uh, the um, question stay with us today. Uh, and that's why you heard Adele before, uh, because I want you to have uh, this uh, video in mind when we were uh, be dwelling in this, uh, yes, in this presentation. Uh, this presentation has Jupyter Notebook. If you uh, want to uh, check the audio visualization by yourself, then you can. Uh, you can uh, do this. Yeah, so table of context. Why Adele? Um, then, what is sound? Then, how to augment the audio data? This is the main part of my speech. And why and how uh, will you start to work with this? Yeah, so, why Adele? Uh, Adele is a great example, I think, about uh, not healthy <laughs> singing. Uh, the girl had a problems. Uh, she's wonderful. I love Adele. Everybody loves Adele. If you don't love Adele, then you should reconsider your life choices. Uh, but uh, she had a problems. Yes. Uh, in 2011, she had a bleeding of her vocal cords, and she had a um, surgery. Uh, the rumor has it that she, of course. Um, get well, and everything seems to be fine, but then in 2017, the uh, situation uh, repeated. She had to cancel her uh, tour. So, uh, you know, even pe then with people that are singing all the time, uh, they have issues. Uh, they traumatize their vocal cords all the time. They are sick and they're, they're singing. They have tours, they're singing all the, all the time. So. Adele is not the one, the Steve Tyler, the Lionel Richie, uh, Sam Smith. They, uh, most of them had uh, vocal um, cords operations, surgeries. Uh, yeah, and why? This is vocal cords. Uh, the normal one is without anything added. <laughs> uh, but there also can be nodules and polyps. Uh, nodules are like 
I don't know, pimples or something like that. They, uh, um, uh, the uh, cords are bigger and the polyps, the cords are uh, bleeding. And uh, why it's happening? You can see it uh, here that our vocal cords, when we are talking like, like uh, now <laughs> I'm talking to you, they are just hitting by your, uh, at yourselves. And uh, when we are talking healthy, it shouldn't be a problem that the vocal cords are hitting. But when we talk unhealthy, maybe too loud, maybe improperly, uh, the vocal cords are damaged. And if you are not professional and you are not trained in it, you probably even don't know that you are speaking or singing uh, badly and that you will be hurt. Uh, yes, and there are many problems that you can do when you are singing. Um, one of them is a glottal attack. Glottal attack is, uh, uh, is easy to, to show you, so, so I choose the, the one. The glottal attack is, uh, is when you uh, hit the vowel very uh, hardly, you push, you push too much. And this is a typical problem of Adele, and this is very unhealthy for your voice. Uh, the healthy way to sing or speak the vowel is like, you know, like, ah. Uh, and what is Adele doing is like, ah. Uh, you know, she's starting very, very healthy. It's, uh, mm, people like it sometimes, but it's very bad for your, for your cord. So uh, you, you can see it. I, I think you can see it. Yes, you can see it. Uh, in the spectrograms, that when you start like freely, it's like ah, uh, and when you start the hard, it's like ah, uh, yeah, and you can see the uh, bigger pressure, the um, much more energy at the beginning. Yes, uh, I um, think that this is a great opportunity uh, to remind about our one of the biggest Polish writers. Uh, Sapkowski, you may know him from The Witcher, uh, he wrote something like this, that the, we know little about love, love is like a pear, a pear is sweet and has a distinct shape, try to define the shape of a pear. And if you uh, work with data, uh, not every data is, is um, obvious. When you do the classifier of cat versus dog, it's obvious. Everyone knows that this is dog, this is cat. And when you, do, or when you work with data like uh, health vocal analysis, then you're stuck with the vocal coaches and they are hearing and they say that, Natalia, this is glottal attack. Say, so, okay, okay, now I know, now I know. So here also, no, he's not, here's not. How do you know? I just know it. I just know it. Yeah, so how can you define the glottal attack? It's not that easy. Uh, so this is the data we, we need to work with, right? Um, even vocal coaches, I worked with a few vocal coaches, and it was like 70% uh, they had 70%, you know, um, the same answers. When we were talking about uh, mistakes, it was like they were not, never 100% sure that this is, this is the glottal attack. And how my uh, model could be better when you are 70% sure? Uh, so this is very, very hard data to work with, but of course, I don't know if you, if you feel why it, it will be nice to have the model. People singing. Uh, I don't know how here in, in Germany, but in Poland it's now very, you know, everybody do crossfit, uh, everybody do climbing, and now they everybody singing. Because, you know, when you are from IT or something like that, you have to be, have purpose in life. So, of course, now you uh, attend a car or have a band or something like that. Uh, and people are singing and then they hurt themselves. So it will be nice to help them. And yes, what is the sound? Uh, the sound is image. It's not what it is. 
Um, most of us saw the sound wave form. Everybody saw the sound wave form? I, I, I guess, I guess. Uh, the sound wave is the, uh, the most typical form uh, of uh, visualize, visualizing the sound. We can see here um, the air pressure, yes, the, uh, the in intensity of, of, the, of the sound here. Uh, the sound wave form has it all. So if you look at this, uh, and when you, pr when you process it in, in your computer, everything is here. The pitch, the timbre, whatever you want, it is here. But it's also kind of useless for our models. And uh, I wanted you to, to hear the two samples. They are both samples of Adele singing. Uh, and one of the samples is sample from the, from the video. I don't know if it would be good quality, so... And the quality of the sample is not only bad because it's bad, uh, but also because the background. There were um, instruments. Sing um, it wasn't a uh, music studio. She didn't recover in, in music studio. And uh, here we can have Adele singing a cappella, the same, the same part of the song. It was in studio, so it's totally without uh, any noise. Of when we were young, yeah. when we and probably you know that when we want to train our model, the best will be great data. Like, not Adele singing somewhere with her band, but Adele singing in the studio. But there's a problem. Adele in the studio, sing she's singing nicely. She doesn't make mistakes because they repeated this. So we don't have nice, clean sample of Adele singing bad. We can have a sample of Adele singing bad, but this one, it's messy. It's useless for our machine learning uh, problems. Here, we can see she was singing when we were young. Can you see this? Yes, it's, it's obvious. But she did it perfectly. She, th this, these waves, nice, nice. There is no mistake here. So it's useless. This is the same. This is the same. Uh, you can see that energy here is, uh, is totally uh, and one level. Our uh, MFCC could not uh, recognize anyf anything here. Oh, I didn't tell you what is MFCC. <laughs> yeah, uh, I talked uh, talk about the waveform, and the waveform is, of course, uh, nice because we know it, but uh, we are working not with the waveforms. Most of us work with the MFCCs. Why is that? MFCC is kind of uh, dim uh, um, dimensionality reduction of the sound, something like this. Uh, you cannot understand anything from here, but machines are very good in it. Yes, uh, every uh, information over time uh, is like uh, more obvious. Uh, we have the frequ frequencies over time. We have we have small buckets of uh, of information of frequency of the energy. Uh, so MFCC is ki quite better for machines. Of course, for us, probably the waveform will be better. But also, uh, I love the male spectrogram. It's, it's the uh, between sound wave and, and MFCC. We can see in the spectrogram many things. You saw it, I see it. Uh, we have the information about the uh, power of the frequency, the, the intensity of the frequency, yes? So we can see that she was changing the frequency. And uh, here you cannot see it. Yeah, but of course we use MFCC and in my notebook or in my GitHub you can check how to do this. Uh, yeah, you can check how to do this uh, by code. But if you want to um, calculate MFCC 
there is a great video about it. Uh, Valerio Velardo, the sounds of AI, if you ever will do uh, the sound ML, uh, I highly recommend him. Uh, I, won't, I won't dwell into it. Yeah, uh, but there are not only two or three audio features. I use the six of them. I try them all, mostly, uh, because there are, you know, there are some uh, other, like Spectre Flux. Uh, it it, uh, it uh, shows us when uh, when there's a changing in our um, in our sound, the zero crossing rate. When you have the information, when the sound is uh, um, uh, changing, that you know the the zero axis. Uh, Mm, yeah, every one of this you can see in my, in my notebook, just uh, check it. And when you have them all, you can use them, uh, every of them, or, uh, oh, the, the link changed. It's, uh, I suppose it's ML YouTube. But if you, if you will check my GitHub, then everything is there. Uh, yes, so we calculate all of them, and we use only one of them, let me check it. Nice. Oh, here, when, you want, when we want to use only MFCC, it's typical, but when our problem is more um, untypical, then we probably will use like concatenation of more of them. Maybe you want to use all of them. Maybe you want to uh, choose some of them. You can flatten them, you can take a mean. To be honest, it's up to you. No, it's not, of course. It's about your, uh, it's up to your uh, re results, so just check all of this. Yes. And uh, I asked GPT, and he says what I think uh, is true, uh, that uh, CNNs are nice. Yes, CNNs are shallow algorithms what would be better for audio classification. And CNN is nice when you have many data, we all know it, it's not about audio, it's about everything. Uh, and if you don't have mat much data, and you will never have much data when vocal health analyzes, uh, then probably the shallow algorithm will be better. And uh, to be honest, I used, uh, for this case, I used shallow algorithm, uh, yes. Uh, because there is no, a random forest probably was the best, I, I suppose, I, as I remember. Yeah. And audio augmentation. As I said before, audio data is image data. Uh, yes, when you want to use CNN, you will use ResNet or, I don't know, mobile net. So you will use the typical neural network uh, for, uh, for image classification. Um, nothing special, but if you want to augment your data and you have, mm, you don't have much of your data, of course you don't, so you want to augment data, you want to do this, yes, uh, audio data is image data, but it's not, uh, you cannot rotate your spectrogram, uh, so what you can do, there are some things you can do, some easy things, you can do time masking, Frequency masking, time wrapping, there are more of them. Uh, so, if you want to recognize that this is Natalia speaking, so when you uh, wrap the time, this is Natalia speaking, probably it will be okay. This is the good augmentation. You can uh, cut part of, of the speech, and it's also okay. Uh, you can change the pitch. You can add uh, music in the background. It's okay for your model to recognize the speaker. Is it okay to, um, to find if uh, someone is singing healthy? Uh, think about it. I'll just uh, show you some things. Uh, some, uh, something you can, you can uh, make with, with this uh, audio samples. Uh, I, um, yes, you have this uh, link to my GitHub profile here. Uh, everything is there. Uh, time masking, you saw, saw it. 
Yes, you cut the, the part of time uh, of uh, the part of your of your uh, sound. Uh, yes, uh, frequency mask also the part of the frequency. It is possible. Mm, time stretching, uh, time shifting. Yeah. Mm, pitch changing. Uh, and typical background noises. Uh, we will use background noises when we think about vocal analysis. Of course, Adele singing with her band uh, in the room, not in a music studio, is useless because it's now dirty. You cannot make it clear. But if you have a nice, clear sample of someone singing badly, then you, of course, will make it noisy in a hundred ways. Uh, this way is okay, the, the other is uh, impossible. And you cannot clear, I, I know that, you know, you know, that uh, you can clear the uh, audio sample. Uh, there are many um, programs that do this, but the unhealthy singing is a very delicate thing. And if you clear the sample, probably you won't have the information about unhealthy singing. So the cleaning the sample is not the solution for training. It will, maybe it will be the solution for classification after training, but it's not at the beginning. Yeah, and would I don't like this argumentation? I to told you about the glottal attack. If we will cut the part of the singing, when there was a glottal attack. We won't have this information anymore. Uh, if we cut the part when her voice failed and she, uh, you know, uh, when you sing like this, like, ah, uh, and when you are stressed like me now, you sing like, ah, uh, you hear it, I hear it, but it's, it's, not, it's not nice. Your vocal cords know that you are stressed and they are also stressed. It's very not nice for the vocal cords. But if you will uh, cut this information, now our model does not know what to look for. So of course it will be crappy. Yes. Why? Why? Uh, maybe, maybe why you will, we will work with audio data. I hope you will, because no, no, no one does. So do this. Uh, the problem, of course, will be data. How I was working with the uh, vocal analysis, we record our own data. We hired the singers to sing for us, the professional singers uh, who made the professional mistakes because they knew how to make a glottal attack, that it will be a real glottal attack, and how to, the same sample, the same part of the song, they can uh, sing it properly. So it's very, very hard to, to have the data by your own. Uh, there are some uh, mm, data set about singing, Probably there will be more, but it's a, uh, it's a really narrow field, so uh, it will be difficult. Yes. Uh, my friend, someone famous, he will be famous one day, uh, said that audio is to AI what computer vision was five years ago, and now we know what computer vision uh, can do, and now it's sexy. So maybe be the first one make the audio sexy because it will be without, with or without you, so be the first. Yes. Oh, this is the end. And, uh, yeah. Uh, you have the uh, um, QR code for my LinkedIn and for my GitHub if you want it. Uh, you can ask me a question now. It's totally okay. But to be honest, I prefer for you to ask me the question after the speech just because I really want to talk to someone. And, uh, and I, you, we can totally, you know, chatting about Adele if you want. Uh, it, it cannot be, it, can't, it can be a very professional question, but it also uh, maybe not. And this is the other, uh, mm, uh, that's problem. 
The other thing that I want you to talk to me per uh, personally, I have birthday today. I bring the uh, traditional polar sweets for you. I really hope, I really hope you will take them. I, I will be devastated if you won't come and take the sweets. You cannot, you, you can not wish me well, but if you will, it will be very nice. <laughs> Are there any questions right now? Oh, hi. Really interesting talk, thanks. Um, <clears throat> I was just wondering, what are your, uh, do you have some accuracy results or a sort of test set um, accuracy measures to see how, so I'm, I'm guessing it's a classifier, a bi like a binary classifier to sort of say healthy or not healthy or is No, no, not healthy and, ho yeah, kind of. Okay. Um, the glottal attack is not the only problem when you're singing. Uh, there are many of them. I, I show you the, the part when, uh, of course, the glottal attack was, but also there was a problem when you, um, it's vocal fry, it's when you are doing like this. <laughs> with your voice. And uh, so there are many problems. And too, too, too few of data to classify them all, of course, so you, you do a binary classification. I, I had like, there are like 30 problems you can do, so like 30 models, everyone binary. It would be better to have one, but it's impossible. So of course there were accuracy. Uh, accuracy is shitty. We all know <laughs> it is. So I prefer uh, something like um, uh, so true positive rates or true negative rate. But so d true positive and true negative rates. You mean? Yes, like, it, it's, uh, it's better. It's better. Yeah. Uh, of course, my boss. He was not <laughs> AI engineer. Uh, he wanted accuracy. Everyone wants accuracy. It's a, it's a, it's a nice number. Uh, but of course, accuracy was. Oh, you can imagine when vocal coaches has accuracy like seventy percent. How much will be model have? But if, if, it's, if it work any time, it's nice. Yes, uh, of course the false positive are, are really bad for us, really bad. Uh, yeah, but false negatives are, are typical <laughs> and it's okay. And my, my second question was, I mean, it's more of a sort of an interesting theoretical thing, but if, so if you were to, I mean, given the knowledge that Adele has these unhealthy habits if you were to take like her back catalog like all all of her recordings and run them through a um like a, a stem extractor um <coughs> model i think you can get them online which, which will just separate her vocal um tracks out and then run your classifier on that w would you expect that it would tell you that that uh all of her material was was uh, unhealthy then, or, or I will say no, and then now you say me why. <laughs> well, I guess, I mean, like the 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 glottal stops and, and so on. I kind of I, I guess it's sort of time dependent, isn't it? So it's only happening at certain points in her. Yes, but I don't do this all the time. Ah, okay. But of course, when yeah. she sings uh, yeah. out of music studio. So when you take the her records from the music studio, there are mostly none of none problems. Of yeah. course, they are cutting, this cutting, cutting, and changing. Uh, but when we have uh, Adele at the concert, my models were pretty good. Okay. Yes, they they really find uh, like okay, accuracy is shitty thing, but they were like ninety percent accuracy that they will uh, catch uh, the the problems. Um, so we can help Adele. Adele, call me. I can help you. Mm -hmm. Cool. Yeah, thanks. Thank you. <laughs> um, I had a question on the um, features you used uh, for the training. So you showed that um, to do this classification problem, you use uh, frequencies and other features you can extract from the, the waveform, so the original audio signal. Uh, so kind of custom features you extract from the signal. But um, there are also models that um, directly work with the waveform. And for example, WaveNet, it's like a convolutional uh, network which 
in a way, ha could, could re replicate those kind of uh, custom features, but directly learns which to use. So um, I'm wondering if, if you also try directly working with the waveform instead of having those custom features, uh, features and how, how does it compare? Or was there another reason to use those features um, that made you cho choose this? Okay, that would be a reason, of course, to, to just try by yourself. We you probably will do the same, yes, we all try by ourselves. But to be honest, I, I, love, the, uh, I love speaking because I didn't know about <laughs> the wave uh, model. So, uh, of course, I will, I will check it. Uh, it will uh, enrich my, my knowledge. Yeah, because it's interesting because uh, you mentioned also image processing. And back in the days, they used to also extract custom feature, like they would have a, a filter like uh, that goes through the image and detect uh, a line or detects two lines and or an edge and so on. And all of this now has been abstracted and now we don't we don't extract custom features from, from images anymore. So yeah, if what you said is true that in, in five years it's gonna be the same, then it means we will not be using old school features anymore, maybe. Probably the people that will uh, know uh, do this very high level uh, audio. Uh, I don't know, classification models, and, but we are in the beginning, so we, we can be better. <laughs> we can know now, uh, we, we, we can know uh, how to do this. The people in five years will want to know what are the features of audio, so. Yeah, thank you. I will take a look if there are any questions online. Nope. Any questions here? Okay. I really meant it with the Swiss. Yes, they are <laughs> lying here. And if I will be forced to take them to Poland again, uh, th that, that would be disaster. It would be disaster. <laughs> so don't make me do this. <laughs> so thank you, Natalia. Thank you.